Hello and welcome, it's KB here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about uh, the LD Player 9. There is a little story why I'm making a video uh, in this Android emulator. I actually never tried LD Player, but one day I was playing a one Android game on my favorite Android emulator, which is Moomoo Player X, which runs on Android 12. And in my opinion, this is like the best Android emulator because there is no other Android emulator which can run the most up-to-date and latest Android version. Moomoo Player X is the only one Android emulator which runs latest Android. I have actually made a video on Moomoo Player X. I will put link in the description and you can go there and check that out. But LD Player, I tried it for the first time because I was playing this game called T3 Arena on my Moomoo Player X. All right, but something weird happened. The game's graphics was tearing, you know, uh, sometimes the hands were not showing, you know, basically the character was uh, invisible <laughs> sometime and sometime not. And controls were not working. I couldn't move my game uh, using WASD, even though I had used the key mapping tool and configured it co correctly. I restarted the Android emulator, but still, you know, there was that issue. Then I was like, I want, I really want to play this game. Uh, so I was about to download the Bluestacks 5, which is also really good. I mean, if you like it, it's good. If you don't, I mean, whatever. But then uh, I looked for LD Player and uh, there was new version, LD Player 9. So basically it runs on Android 9. I was like, okay, let's, let's give it a try. It's not going to hurt me, right? So I downloaded it and I was like, wow, this is actually really good. And I played T3 Arena game in this, everything worked smoothly. And top of that, I felt the LD player is actually really fast. First of all, actually, let me do a comparison here. All right, I'm gonna launch Moomoo Player X and LD player at the same time. Okay, just like that. But see, I'm just gonna keep it here. Just look at the LD player. <laughs> I clicked first on Moomoo Player X, but still it's loading. Okay, I'm not saying that Moomoo Player X is bad. It's it's still in beta. Okay, we can understand that it has bugs and whatnot. It can be slow because it's running the latest Android. But still, you know, even though it's running latest Android and everything, it's great. Okay, it's great. It also gives you a good performance. It's actually close to LD Player 9. I'll show you, okay? So basically, LD Player 9 is super fast. That's what I felt, and that's what you will feel when you use it for the first time. It's actually fast. Second, the interface of this thing, I mean, just when I go to settings like open anything, they just open, and you just have a feeling that it is fast. It gives you that feeling when you click anywhere in this Android emulator. It's really that good. <laughs> I'm being honest here, right? We have some settings for the Android emulator here and you go through every setting It just feels like it is so good. I mean it feels really smooth and One thing that I found different in LD player 9 compared to other Android emulators is that there is no this thing called uh, the graphics rendering mode uh, you will find this option on almost every Android emulator. Okay, we have Vulkan, SpeedX, DirectX, Compatible, OpenGL. We have the option to choose from. But in uh, LD Player, I did not find those options. You know, it is a good thing. Be why? You, you may ask why. I mean, there is no option. You know why? Because maybe LD player makers, developers knows the best. They know some secret ingredient. So it just works. Okay, you don't have to choose any setting or no, nothing like that. So, yeah, that's, I mean, maybe, I'm pretty sure they know some secret ingredient to this. And this Android emulator actually feels way better than any other Android emulators that I have used till now. Okay, I haven't tried all the games. I only play the game that I want to play. I don't play PUBG Mobile or no, nothing like that, okay? Actually, I'll do a separate, you know, comparison video between uh, the LD player and the Bluestacks because Bluestacks is the most popular. Uh, and one more thing, I have actually made a video on 
uh, blue stacks versus mumu player x and you know the results if you haven't watched that video you should watch that mumu player x actually beat the blue stacks in performance because blue stacks was using more resources and mumu player x was actually using less resources so you should watch that video okay i'm gonna open the uh, t3 arena game that's the only game i have in ld player oh, i have to update this actually okay it's gonna take some time now okay here we have the t3 arena game running in ld player 9 all right and uh, in here okay i'm running the momo player x at the same time so virtual box headless front end is uh, the uh, ld player okay so if we take a look at this you can see in i'm not doing any activity the game is opened you can see it's using around let's say 20 percent of the cpu most like highest peak and around 400 megabyte of ram all right you can see here i mean it rarely goes above 20 okay maybe if i play the game okay i'm just gonna hop into the game okay all right we are in the game uh just, okay still like i'm doing a movement now okay 26 okay let's just say 30 and 6 uh, 550 megabyte of ram you can see there is action going on here all right uh, so this is the performance uh, that i'm getting in ld player 9. now i'm gonna open this game on mumu player okay so actually i'm really surprised uh, to see that both Momo Player X and uh, LD Player 9 both performs the same. Their performance are same for some reason. I don't know why. Okay. Uh, as I said, I have done a comparison video between Bluestacks and Momo Player X, and Momo Player X just was better. Okay. Is better still. All right. At first, I was like, LD Player is going to perform same as the uh, Bluestacks, but no, it is performing same as the Momo Player x yeah <laughs> maybe even better actually i'm in a game all right the same game i'm using one account and you can see there is a little bit of memory difference maybe 100 or something uh, uh memory difference but cpu usage is the uh, same okay and one more thing yeah this is the problem that i was talking about i'm not touching game all right so you can see there is a key mapping problem everything is set correctly i can actually control the character right but you can see i'm not touching <laughs> this is the reason uh, i downloaded the ld player uh, you know the good news i don't have to say it again and again yeah ld player also performs as good as Mumu player x yeah it's still using the android 9 but the performance and the quality of the game i mean everything is just smooth and everything works and uh, the android emulator itself is really good there is only one android emulator which runs the android 12 which is the latest android the most up to date that is the Mumu player x and that is still in beta we can understand that because there is no other android emulator doing that so we can't hate Momo Player X uh, for that reason because it is providing the latest Android and we can't be sad about that. But sometime, you know, in some games, you may get some problem with the Momo Player X. LD Player 9 is like uh, the best Android emulator, in my opinion, as of now. I'm saying this from my personal experience. I never thought that I'm gonna download the LD Player. Someone actually commented on my videos a long time ago that you should try LD Player. It's so good and you know i was like nah i'm not gonna try this it's like new android emulator how it's not gonna be that good but when i tried it i'm just wowed okay if you're someone who use android emulators a lot to play games or whatever you do you should give it a try to a lt player 9 at least 9 okay there is a other version of the lt player which i haven't tried uh, that is the lt player 4 i never tried i'm not, I'm not gonna go to the four it, it probably has like android 6 or 7 i'm just gonna you know i have the android 9 with ld player 9 so i'm just gonna stick with this yeah <laughs> i think i just talked too much but trust me I, I, you have to take my word this is the best android emulator as of now i have used almost every android emulator and uh, ld player 9 is like the best one 
right? It's it is so good. Okay, I'm gonna exit this. I'm gonna open this. It just opens just like it acts like it is so light. It gives you that feeling, all right? First of all, that's the main advantage. And actually, it also works as good as it looks and feels. That's okay. I'm just talking too much, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. I I'm not going to talk too much. Uh, if you have any question or have any suggestion for me, you can always do the comment. We can have some chit chat in the comments too. Yeah. If you are a LD player user and you want to share your experience, you can also share your experience in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Uh, I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye bye. And see you in the comments. Yeah.